Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for round the fifth. Round the fifth. Or is it the fifth? Well, timing is fluid. It doesn't really matter, does it? So what do we got for a message today? What is coming up? What is coming up? The sun reversed. Huh? The sun reversed. That is unhealthy. Not happy. Sadness. Somebody's unhealthy. They may be thinking negatively. Or they could be being more or overly optimistic. Could go either way. Hmm. We need to get some more cards because that could mean so much. Eight of Cups reversed. Hmm. Eight of Cups reversed, lack of emotional growth, emotional weakness, lack of self-esteem, lack of self-worth, self self-love, lack, lack of self-love, avoidance, hmm, S pretending to be happy, ha, ah! pretending to be happy. We got somebody here that is not walking away from something. They are pretending to be happy. Somebody is pretending that they're happy and they're not. They need to walk away. They need to, but they're not. So they're pretending to be happy. Okay. They are pretending to be happy. So somebody's they're pretending they're putting on a show. Superficial, shallow. Um, not really happy, but, but can't walk away from a situation. Staying put, avoiding, refusing to move on from an unhappy situation. Refusing to move on. Staying put. It's funny because we, when I started shuffling and I started talking, what I saw was the judgment card. Judgment is truth. Truth. The truth. An awakening. A wake-up call, an awakening, the end of things. Ready? Are you ready to be judged? Are you ready to see the truth, expect, expect the truth? So it's hard to accept the truth. Now, judgment is the end of things as well. It's being held accountable. It's a life-changing decision. Um, are you ready to be judged? Absolution. So that's what I was seeing. Then the sun came out reversed. So somebody is pretending to be happy because of judgment. Right? How will they be judged? Well, imagine that shit. Strength. Yes, it's going to take strength. It's going to take courage. And it's funny that I wanted to say self-worth. Self-love. It is definitely... And we could be dealing with a Leo in particular. Because we have Leo here and we have Leo here. Doesn't have to be. But this is somebody who needs to find their strength and their confidence. And their courage. And their discipline discipline to master their emotions and you think about the strength the strength to let go of something the strength to um, accept judgment is a card of acceptance as well so somebody needs to accept they need to accept that it's time to move on From an unhealthy, unhappy situation. But it's not going to be easy, obviously, or the strength card would not be here. There's also a lot of courage and, and uh, discipline. I feel like discipline is needed. Discipline and determination. Restrain yourself from going back to things that don't make you happy. Restrain yourself from staying in situations that don't make you happy. You know, find the strength to walk away. Interesting. Now, this is about uh, strength is a card of restraint. Restrain yourself. Master your emotions. Don't overreact. Somebody could be overreacting. They may want to go back to something or to a situation that has no opportunity for growth that really doesn't make them happy. Why would you want to go back to something like that? Because of codependency? Because you're weak? Be strong. Don't go back to something that is emotionally disappointing, that has no opportunity for growth, that really doesn't make you happy because you don't want to be alone. Or whatever the case is, Four of Wands. Building a home, wanting to build a home, that's building a teepee. And teepee is a, can be definitely be a home, but this is like a garden, right? 
It could turn into a teepee though. It absolutely could. Planting seeds. Plant your seeds for something new. Stuff is coming to fruition. You just have to be patient. This is a card of patience as well. Be patient. Be patient, please. Your happiness is coming. Everything that you have worked for, that you have been waiting for, it's coming. It takes time. It takes time for things to happen. So somebody needs to be patient. Stop looking back at the past. Stop thinking negatively because this could just be negative thinking. The sun reverse. Unhealthy thinking. You know, master your emotions. Don't get so disappointed. Now, this is emotional disappointment, the Eight of Cups. You know, <laughs> master your emotions. The strength is about mastering your emotions and being patient and waiting. Be graceful. Be graceful with your approach. Wait for the time. It's coming. Because there's, there's growth. There's, there's, there's no growth here. But there's definitely some sort of growth here. There's no growth if you don't restrain yourself. Okay. Just, just relax. Okay. Just relax. The moon reversed. Now this is a reality check. Truths being revealed something coming out it's below the surface and it's interesting because here you see stuff is starting to sprout it's growing it's it was planted and this is this is coming out so something that was below the surface is about to uh be shown okay it's about to come out something that was hidden below the ground it was hidden below it was it was in hiding it's about to be shown it's about to pew, here it is Something that, you know, you've been waiting for. And it's like, when, because that's what happens when you're waiting for that seed to sprout. You're waiting for something to be shown. You're waiting and you're watching the clock and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting. And, you're waiting and then all of a sudden you stop looking, okay? You, you go do something else, right? And for, for a minute you forgot about it for a minute. And the next time you go, all of a sudden, there it is. So basically you forgot about it for a minute. You forgot about it for a minute. Oop, there it is. So this is that's what we got here. That is what we got here. So something is about to show up that you forgot about. Nine of Wands. Look at that. This person has this is wounded. Very wounded. Been through a serious struggle. A very challenging time. Expecting trouble on guard. But this person is strong and determined. <laughs> it looks like that we have somebody here. There's a lot of growth. There's a lot, of, a lot of opportunity for growth. But this person is just waiting for the next battle, but has survived quite a bit. So we have a survivor here. This is a survivor. Survived quite a bit of hardship already. Those are all the victories right there. Now she's been. Now there's there's a lot. There's a huge guard up. There's a huge barrier. You know. This is a force to be reckoned with, really. See, we have somebody here that is expecting trouble. And that's that could be caused from fear. And this is master your fear. So we have a fearful individual here that is expecting trouble. And they are thinking negative. You know, and this is fears as well. So somebody, I think, is dealing with an individual that they are fearful. It's like, I don't trust you. This is lack of trust, trust issues. We do have somebody with some trust issues. It's like, what are you hiding? Thinking that somebody is hiding something. It just It's like, I know you're hiding because this is coming out. So if you've been expecting something that to come out that was below the surface, you're probably correct. Obviously, this person has a lot of life experience. Look, at those are all the battles that have been won, I would say. This person has been through some stormy weather over and over and over again, has weathered and won, and is ready for the next match by the looks of things. Doesn't really want to take on anymore. Is like, why? What the hell? Why does this shit keep happening to me? Just doesn't trust. And this is negative thinking. So somebody is, is thinking, you know, uh, what 
the hell is going to happen next? What's, what could possibly, I know something is coming because this is a card of intuition. It's like, I know something is coming. I'm not quite sure. I can't quite pinpoint it, but I know something is coming. So we have somebody here that is expecting trouble and I believe trouble is coming. I do with that moon card. Moon is usually be careful. Upright or reversed. Seriously, be careful. It's, there's deception here. Or it doesn't have to be deception. with Because the Four of Wands is underneath. It could be something good. It, it could be. It could be. But this person is expecting trouble because they've been hurt so badly. They have. And they've had to fight, 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 fight. Pretty much their whole life. And when you have to fight for your life, you know, you get that... Um, what is it? Complex or that... You know, that's what you've learned, right? That's what you do. That's who you are. It's who you become. And and to and this is lack of healing. Okay, the sun card reverse is lack of healing, and this is a card of healing. So you know maybe some healing is needed, but whatever. That's another whole story. So we have this person that is probably thinking very negative about. Uh, maybe they're worried about somebody coming back, or they're worried that maybe somebody back coming back that hurt them. And it's, it, if that's the case, it, you know, you may need to, you need to be, you may need to be strong. Really, 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 really strong because this person that hurt you may be the one that is popping up. You may have been in a commitment with this person before. I don't know who this reading is for and don't try to make it for you. It's not going to resonate with every single person. <laughs> There's definitely an opportunity for happiness here. Something is about to pop up. I think that this person's been expecting it. A lot of life experience here. And this is like wanting to... Somebody could be coming to apologize. And you need to be strong. You need to be hard-ass strong. Do not let... You know, every part of my message, you know, you heard at the beginning. Don't let somebody that hurt you do it again, you know. You know what I mean? Don't pretend that you're going to be happy. It didn't work before. It didn't work before. There's a reason why it didn't work before. Be realistic. Judgment is, is a judgment call. Uh, so, uh, ha, ha. I got it. Somebody may want a reconciliation. Somebody that you have been with before that has hurt you. They may be coming to apologize. I don't know who this reading is for. It's not going to resonate with every single person. This does not have to be a lover. This can be anybody that hurts you. Somebody that has hurt you very badly in your life in some way. Or it could be vice versa. It could be you that hurt somebody. And This is like an Somebody may be coming with some sort of apology. You're going to need to be strong. Now judgment is also a card of forgiveness. So somebody may be coming asking for forgiveness. Maybe they're not happy with the current circumstances, you know, and they're wanting to uh, come forward with the truth. The moon reversed is truth coming out, being revealed. So, reality check. Now, the moon reversed can also be a nightmare. And this is paranoid. So we may have somebody here that is really just paranoid. They're just really, really paranoid that the past is going to come back. Maybe that's just your own paranoia. Or they're really paranoid that, you know, the mistakes they, that they, that they're going to repeat their past. There's paranoia here. There is. And it could be a pair, fear of commitment because this is commitment. Fear of marriage. So we may have somebody here that is fearful of marriage. Fearful of commitment. Fearful of, you know, starting a new foundation. Fours are about foundations. That's the four of wands. So there's definitely some fear. These are both fears. So there, there is definitely some fear here. Um, the lovers reversed. Oh my God. So there is, uh, there could be a separation. This is a conflict. This is disharmony, a disconnection, detachment, a broken relationship. So I feel like there has been a broken relationship. This person's going their own way, whether they're doing it right now or they've done it in the past. This is a broken relationship, a separation. Now somebody has been wounded. And this is this has happened over and over and over again. The night it has. So I feel like there's 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 fear of getting in a commitment because it's there's fear of 
you know, letting your guard down and having it happen again. So that I think there's an opportunity for a commitment and to build a new foundation with somebody. But there's such a big fear of having this happen again. So there's right now there is definitely an opportunity with the four of wands. There's an opportunity for happiness. <laughs> okay, but there's fear of falling down, fear of it going nowhere. You know, there could be a setback and there's definite paranoia. Both these cards are paranoia now. So a paranoid of getting in a commitment, commitment, commitment. So we have somebody here that is scared to death, scared to death of getting in a commitment. And it's going to take a lot of strength to trust. So there's trust issues. So, but this is a perfect opportunity. I mean, it's like, it's like, I feel like it's a perfect match. If somebody can get over their trust issues and forgive the past because judgment is a card of the past so be prepared to hear a message to receive a message this is good news triumphant news arriving very fast messages going back and forth that are very positive judgment is a card of chance maybe you want to give this person a chance give them a chance be patient Don't think negative, but don't be overly optimistic as well. Don't let the past that broke you, that hurt you, that wounded you, stop you from being happy. Seven of Swords. Oh my God, this is, this is somebody that, that is, is sneaking, very sneaky, very sly, very skilled. We were very sneaky, skilled, sly, cheater here that has left something behind. He, he left with some, he left something behind. And I think he's going to come back. I do. He or she. This person knows that there's something there that they left. That is of value. They know their way around the place. They know exactly how to do it. And they're coming back. They've been watching. They have been watching. This is this has been planned. This is this is planned. They've been waiting for the moment. Interesting. And this person is 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 paranoid for good reason. Seriously. So I think we have a broken marriage or a broken relationship where there's somebody that um, I don't know. They have something up their sleeve. Put it that way. And, and the other half, the other person is going to need to find their strength and their courage and their discipline to say, no, I'm not letting you hurt me again. So good luck with that. I don't know whose reading this is, but good luck.